All right. Um, what we're going to talk about right now is Launcher Pro. Okay. Launcher Pro is an amazing new home um, program that replaces the original stock Android Home. Okay. So Launcher Pro is free. You can find that on the marketplace. Um, the developer that made this program is great and works with the community and listens to what people have to say um, about the bugs that uh, have been acquired through this process. Uh, he updates this almost every day sometimes, um, which is great because he's constantly fixing and making this better. And honestly, I don't know how much better this can get. This is, gonna, this is an example of a Launcher Pro. Okay, It replaces the home. Now the original Android Home usually comes with, I believe, three screens. You got your main home screen, you got the screen to the left, and the screen to the right. The first thing that you're going to notice about Launcher Pro is how much better it runs than the original stock Android. It runs a lot faster, a lot smoother, has a lot more customizing um, preferences that you can do. So you can have up to seven screens with this, which is great. Um, another great thing is the new 3D app drawer. The new 3D app drawer um, look, looks just like this. It has a nice fly-in effect that you can actually adjust the fly-in effect speed um, if you want it to fly in fast or slow. This is an example. Boom. Okay. So that's the, that's the app drawer. Now the 3D effect is pretty cool. When I move this up, if you look right here, it's got this really, really cool... 3D effect where it actually bends on the horizon. That is the awesome 3D effect. Now I have uh, the speed of um, this app drawer running only at one. So it goes in and out slowly so you can actually get a good effect going on right there. Now you can adjust that and make it go faster. Another great thing about Launcher Pro is the new dock, which is awesome. Now if you see down here on the bottom, um, I actually have five icons now the original stock uh, Android home only has the app drawer which is right here now with launcher pro you can assign any of these including the app drawer to any application anything that you want now if I long press here we're just gonna do this with the app drawer because you can actually adjust any of these like I said you long press the app drawer comes up you can make it blank which is pretty cool nothing there okay you can uh, make it do make it. You can assign it to any application that you want. Click on my applications. Okay, that took longer than usual. Um, I have some apps uh, running in the background that oh that uh, are taking up memory right now. And honestly, Auto Memory Manager should be uh, should be killing those, but there are some there are a few things that it that slips through the Auto Memory Manager that I use my Advanced Task Manager to end, so that uh, these applications aren't running in the background. Even though I have hit home and I think that it exited out, but honestly, without an Advanced Task Manager running, you will never see if those are honestly still running, and they do sometimes. So um, what I'm gonna do is uh, okay gonna go back to applications um, that was my app drawer okay wow annoying usually my phone is running pristine and we're gonna go and look at exactly what was falling down my phone I do have a text message sitting up there um, that's not it though so I'm um, have all these applications that I can assign it to I'm not gonna use any of those what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it back to the app drawer um, you can actually use uh, the home screens, which is kind of cool. It makes a little button down there. So if you don't want to swipe and get your screen all dirty, you can just hit the button and it'll go next screen, next screen, and so forth. You can uh, assign it to a bookmark, an actual contact, um, direct dial. So you know if you dial your mom a lot, you can just have a little shortcut. You touch it, boom, it's already calling mom. Awesome. Uh, same with the text messaging, email all that good stuff I'm gonna make it that drawer and launcher pro actually has some a really really cool collection of icons that um, comes with it now uh, they're all grayscale which may make it look cool make it look cool so I'm actually gonna go back I'm gonna use the actual original one so you have 15 icons that you can scroll through um, cool thing 
lots and lots of uh, lots of new preferences. You can adjust everything, number of screens. You can have up to seven. I have five. Um, you can change the default screen to whatever screen that you want it to be. I'm um, gonna have mine as the middle one, which would be three. Uh, <clears throat> auto rotation, scrollable widgets, keep in memory. Keep in memory. Oops. Let's go down here. Keeping memory is a great way to keep uh, Launcher Pro running so that if you have any memory managers or advanced task managers or anything like that that automatically kill programs that aren't being used often or, or are taking too much memory or anything like that, it doesn't kill Launcher Pro. It keeps Launcher Pro going. And it's totally fine to have Launcher Pro running all the time. That's your actual home. Um, it's not going to eat up memory. And if you have other programs that I'll talk about uh, later on, running your phone will be running awesome um, dock background um, also it's a good thing you can disable the uh, wallpaper from scrolling when you go from screen to screen um, the picture will actually stay there instead of moving with you which is which is a nice feature advanced settings um, you can actually have five rows you can actually have five rows in your home screen of icons instead of just four which is pretty neat uh, elastic scrolling um, has a little bouncing effect when you're scrolling through the screens instead of the screens when you let go of your finger instead of the screen snapping to the edge it kind of uh, goes a little bit past it and bounces back like a uh, rubber band you got high quality quality scrolling you can change the scrolling speed um, how fast you want the screens to scroll from left to right when you're using your finger and then also using the um, the home screen button as a as a icon on the dock <clears throat> 3D drawer. Now in the drawer, you can change how many rows, columns um, that you have. Um, same with landscape. You can change the opening speed. I have mine at one so that it opens slow. So you can actually get a really nice effect. And then the screen previews. You can have, um, you can change the speed of how the screen preview screen pops up. I have mine slow so you can actually experience it. Now let's go take a look at that screen preview. So I have all these screens. One, two, three, four. And five okay so if I'm all the way on the right and I want to go all the way to the left usually I have to scroll 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 okay but instead if you hit the home button right here it has a nice flying effect and it gives you a preview of all of your screens so usually if I'm over here all the way to the right I want to go all the way to the left I can just go ahead and hit home hit that and it flies right in awesome so that is launcher pro um, really, really must a really, really awesome program that every Android user user must have.